Hi yogis and welcome to this beginner series. In this gentle yoga practice, we're going to be focusing on opening up through shoulders and binds through the arms. You will need a strap, or if you don't have a strap at home, you can always grab hold of a towel or even a belt. Um, always have with you two blocks or maybe books for support, um, as well as a blanket if you need anything to pop underneath your knees. And we're going to begin seated today. And we're just going to begin in an easy cross-legged position. You can sit on your blocks or maybe a cushion if you need a little bit more support here, especially if you're starting to grip through the front of your hips. And then just rest your palms on top of your knees. Sit up nice and tall and go ahead and close down your eyes. With your eyes closed, stretch the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Face is soft and shoulders are relaxed. And we're just going to begin to take some nice, slow, steady, deep breaths in and out. So just taking a few moments to connect inwards, to connect with our body. Connect with our breath. Breathing down into your belly. See if you can keep your inhales the same length as your exhales. Breath is long, smooth and steady. Just take one more round of breath. Slowly inhale, fill up. And empty your breath all the way out. Just slowly peel your eyes open here. And we're going to reach over and grab hold of our strap. And just pop it next to us so we have it close by. And from here as you inhale, keeping your hands on the front of your knees, you're going to come up into an extension. So into a gentle cow pose. Feel as though there's a hook on the top of your sternum. It's lifting your sternum up skywards. Get the back of your neck long as you gaze upwards. And then exhale, you're going to round here like a cat, a cat shape. Sorry. So feel as though you're hollowing out through your front body. Hugging front body towards your back body. Chin nods down towards your chest. And again, inhale. Open through the front of your heart, shoulders roll back and open, spread through your collarbones. And then exhale, you're going to round. And just one more like that. Inhale, lift up. Feel as though you're lifting up and out of your upper back. And exhale, scooping out, hollowing out through your front body. Chin nods towards your chest. And then restack your spine as you sit up nice and tall. Just lean forward and we're going to come around into the dress. Now you can sit straight back onto your heels or you can grab hold of your block or your cushion and just pop it underneath your sit bones and you may find that's a little bit more comfortable for you. And then with your strap or your towel, let's take it long. Take your hands wide and we're just going to start off with some shoulder flossing. So keeping your elbows straight, you're going to take your arms up and over and just making small arcs to begin with. So nothing too extreme, just as we begin to warm up and to open up. And you may find that after a few repetitions, you're able to take your arms a little bit further, in particular back behind you. And what you'll notice as well, when you take your arms back behind you, there's almost like a point where it's like a clunk where your arms drop down and just see if you can smooth that transition or that lower lowering of your arms. Maybe you may find that you can slide your hands in a little bit closer and you can make space between your two hands a wee bit smaller. Really important that we're not hiking our shoulders up like so as we take our arms back and forth. If you're doing that, take your hands wider. So you want to feel as though smoothly arcing your arms back and then lifting your arms back and over. Let's take two more rounds here. So feeling that gentle stretch, 
and opening through the front of your chest. And last one. And then from here, lower your arms all the way down. Just go ahead and pop your strap off to one side. And we're going to move into a reverse prayer or reverse I'm going to say, I'm going to spin around so you can see exactly what I'm doing with my arms. Option one, if you are quite tight through your shoulders, create fists at your lower back. So elbows wide, shoulders draw down and away from your ears. This is enough for you, you just stay here. Otherwise, we're going to work our hands into reverse prayer or reverse namaste. So heel of your palms together and you're going to slide your fingertips up towards the base of your skull. As you press the heel of your palms together, you're going to wrap your outer upper arm bones back and then soften the bottom of your ribs down and in. So really mindful here that we're not in this big extension, chest popping forward. You're keeping on maintaining that neutral spine, lower ribs. Knit in, keep the back of your neck long, and then draw your elbows back. And then just take one more deep breath in. See if you can breathe into your upper back, breathe into your palms. And then exhale out. Release your hands down by your side. Come forward onto your hands and knees. You're just going to take one round here of cat cow. So inhale, belly softens. Just feel that stretch, that opening through your front body. Open up through your collarbones. And as you exhale, drive your palms down into the mat, round through your upper back. Release the weight of your head down. Tailbone points between your two knees. And then inhale, come back into your neutral spine. Tuck your tails on, tail, toes under, sorry. Lift your hips and make your way back into your first downward facing dog. And just go ahead and pull out through your feet and bend one knee and release the other. And today we're going to move into a twisted downward facing dog. So make sure that your feet are at least hip width distance apart. You're going to rise high onto your toes. Majority of your weight is back in your feet here. Knees can be bending and a pivot both heels over to the right. Press down firmly through your left hand. And a nice big juicy bend here. So your right heel is lifted, sole of your left foot stays connected into the mat and feel as though you're reaching your butt back. As you inhale, come back through center and then pivot both heels over to the left, knees bent. Keep gripping down through your fingertips. You want to lift up and out of your wrists and you're just opening up through your side body. So big breath in your right rib cage, right lung, and then from here, come back through center, and then from here, as you inhale, rise high onto your toes, knees, soften, look forward to the top of your mat, walk your feet up towards your hands. We're just going to pause here on a ragdoll, so grab hold of opposite elbow, micro bend to your knees, drop your head forward and gently sway your chest from side to side, maybe turning your head, maybe nodding your chin. Really un allow yourself to let go here. Because so there's freedom and space through your neck and through your shoulders and you're not holding on at all. And then from here, release both hands down onto your mat. As you breathe in, we're going to come into a halfway lift. So spine is long and flat. Fingertips either stay onto the earth or we can slide your hands up the front of your shins. From your tailbone through to your crown of your head, fine length. And then breathe out as you fold forward again. Release the weight of your head down, back of your neck long. One more like that, inhale, halfway lift. So almost feel like you're doing a baby cobra here. So you're lifting the back of your heart up, keeping your spine long, until hugging through your lower belly. And then exhale, fold yourself in two. From here, bend both knees. You're going to go ahead and step your left foot back, come into a runner's lunge. Grab hold of your blocks if you need at the side of your right foot. If you need a little bit more length through those arm bones. Charge back through your left heel, press down through your right heel. You want to wrap your right outer hip back. Take another inhale, and as you exhale, you're slowly going to sink your left knee down onto the earth, untuck your toes. You can keep your blocks underneath your hands. We're just going to start by shifting our hips back as you straighten up through your right leg, moving into half splits, Ardha Hanumanasana. Of course, there's three volumes on of your blocks if you do have blocks handy, so you can lift yourself up quite high. 
And then just taking some little pulsations here. Inhale, lift up, exhale, fold a little bit further into the shape. Inhale as you lift up, so easing your way out a little bit, easing your way out of sensation, and then exhale, fold forward. And then one more like that. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, fold. From here, we're going to stay here. You're going to press belly down through your right heel. Lift your right kneecap, engage the front of your right quad, and you want to wrap your right outer hip crease back. Now, I want you to feel as though you're reaching your sit bones, the bones at the bottom of your back, back. As you find length through the front of your spine, but you want to keep the back of your neck long. And just gently pull the tops of your shoulders down and away from your hand, from your skull. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to re-bend into your right knee, back into this low lunge. Tuck your left toes under, hover your left knee off the ground. And we're going to step our right foot back into a downward facing dog. Just stay here for a breath in. Stay as you breathe out. As you inhale, rise high into your toes, knees, bend look forward between your hands, slowly make your way up to the top of your mat. Forward fold. I'm going to go straight to the other side, both knees bend, stepping your right foot back, come into your runner's lunge. And again, options to grab hold of your blocks here, pop them either side of your right foot. You want to keep your right leg engaged by lifting the back of your right thigh bone up, continue to press your right heel backwards. Draw your left outer hip crease back. Take another inhale, and as you breathe out, lowering right knee onto your mat, untuck your toes, drawing your hips back, your pelvis back and straighten up through your left leg. You want to make sure that your left leg is in line with your left hip. And then just taking a few pulsations up and down. Inhale, lift up. Exhale as you fold forward. And again, if you need to pop your hands onto blocks, props, whatever you need, please do so. Inhale, lift up. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, fold forward. Press down through your left heel. Keep flexing your left toes back. You want to squeeze and engage the front of your left quad. And then try and slide your nose down the front of your shin towards your toes. But rather than crunch your neck and lift and um, kind of arc through the back of your neck, you want to keep the length through the back of your neck there. So all the work is in your legs here. Take another inhale. Empty your breath out. From here as you take your next breath in, you need to re-bend into your left leg. Come back into a low lunge. Tucking your right toes under. Hover your right knee off the mat. And then step and fold forward. From here we're going to take an inhale. Halfway lift. Fingertips onto your mat. Long spine. Exhale. Fold yourself in two. Small bend to your knees, inhale, roll all the way up to stand. So stacking vertebra upon vertebra as if you're stacking building blocks. Root down through your feet, energize through your legs. Arms sweep overhead, palms connect. Exhale, drawing your hands to meet at your heart. Release your hands down by your side. Inhale, sweep your arms long. Exhale, hinging forward from your hips. Lead with your heart as you swan dive forward towards the mat. Inhale again, halfway lift, fingertips either onto your mat or slide them up the front of your shins. Keep drawing your shoulders away from your ears so you feel that length through both sides of your neck. Exhale, fold forward. Here you're going to bend both legs, step your left foot back, come into that low lunge, and then you're going to lower your left knee down, untuck your toes, and then pivot onto your left kneecap. If you want to pop a blanket underneath your knee, you can. And from here, you're going to place your right hand inside your right foot. Right hand onto a block here if you need, or either onto the mat. And then you're going to extend your left hand up towards the ceiling. From here, you're going to rotate your left palm back and then press your left hand behind you. So you're really opening up through the front of that shoulder. Then from here, just draw your awareness to your legs. Press down through your right heel. Squeeze your right glute and then scoop your right sit bone underneath. So as well as opening up through shoulders, we're getting into inner groins and adductors. And then from here, you're going to sweep your left hand behind your lower back. Either place the back of your palm onto your sacrum. Or, if possible, maybe you can thread your left fingertips through. Grab hold of the top of your right thigh. Take another inhale. Peeling left shoulder back, open and down. And you want to feel as though you're wrapping 
right rib cage up and around to meet your left. Continue to glide your shoulders away from your ears. And just gently curl your pubic bone towards your nose. Take inhale. And then as you exhale, you're going to slowly unravel from your twist. Look forward, left hand onto the mat. Spin onto your left kneecap, left toes point back. Just pop that left, uh, that block over to one side. Tucking your left toes under. You're then going to step your right foot back, downward facing dog. And then with your right leg, sweep it up towards the ceiling. Bend your right knee, roll your right hip open for a scorpion pose. Lift from underneath your left armpit, shoulders square here. Take another breath in. And then as you exhale, you're going to lower your right leg back into your downward facing dog. As you inhale, come high onto your toes and you soften look towards the top of your mat, walk your feet forward. Good. Straight away, let's take it to the other side. Both knees bent, release your right foot back. Come into a runner's lunge here. And then slowly sink right knee down. Pivot on that right kneecap so that your right toes or right shin bone runs across the length of your mat. Left hand to the inner arch of your left foot, either onto the block or to the mat. Press down through your left heel. Scoop your left butt cheek underneath. You engage your left butt. Right hand onto your hip. Start by rolling your right shoulder open. And then you're going to reach your right hand up. Rotate your palm. So palm faces back. And then press back with your hand. So feeling that stretch with the front of your shoulder, keep pressing your hips forward. And then from here, sweeping right hand behind your lower back, either resting onto your sacrum or grab hold of the top of your left thigh. Take another inhale. You wrap your right shoulder open back and down. Keep drawing both shoulders down and away from your ears. And can you spiral your heart up towards your ceiling just a little bit further? Take one more deep breath in. Slowly breathe out. From here, unravel from your twist. Release your right hand down. Put it onto your right kneecap. Right foot back. Pop block over to one side. Tuck your right toes under. Right knee off the mat. Step back into your downward facing dog. Only briefly before inhaling, reaching your left leg up. Bend your left knee. Roll your left hip open. Scorpion pose. Lift from underneath your right armpit to level and square off through your shoulder girdle. And from here, slowly lower your left leg down. Good. Come onto your toes, knees bend. Slowly walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Good work here. Inhale, we're going to come into a halfway lift. Fingertips can slide up the front of your shins. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, roll all the way up to stand. Anchor down through your feet. Arms um, sweep wide and high. Palms connect. Exhale, hands meet at your heart center. Anjali Mudra. Release both hands down by your thighs. Inhale, sweep them high. Exhale, swan dive. Soft bend to your knees. Keep your spine long as if you're diving forward into a pool. Inhale again, halfway lift. Fingertips on your mat. Slide up the front wall of your shins. From here, you're going to lean your weight into your right foot. And with your blocks, keep them underneath your hands. Now, of course, if you can reach the mat, by all means, fingertips on the mat. Otherwise, hands on blocks. Lean your weight into your right foot. You're going to float your left leg up. So you're going to lift with your left inner thigh here. Energize through your left leg. Wrap your left front of hip bone down and gently hook your right outer hip back. Cinch in your waist, so gently pull in through your lower belly and then reach long out through the crown of your head. It's almost as though your body is an elastic band. And top of your head and toes are extending and expanding in opposite directions. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to bend into your right knee. Step your left foot back, coming into this runner's lunge shape. Then you're going to spin your left heel down. Pop your right forearm on top of your right thigh. And then from here, you're going to circle left hand forward, up and around as you move into our modified extended side angle. Then from here, you're going to then take your left hand up towards the ceiling, roll your left hand back. Again, draw your attention to your right leg, like we did kneeling, press down through your right heel, scoop and wrap your right sit bone underneath, so you're rolling your right inner thigh up towards the ceiling, lift up and out of your right shoulder. 
And from here, press back through your left palm. Sweep your left hand and either rest in left, back of your left palm onto the back of your sacrum or grab hold of the top of your right thigh. And this may be enough for you here, your ears. And you may just want to stay here. If you want to go a little bit further, we're going to lean forward. This time, thread your right arm underneath. Lunge deeper into your right leg and your right hand is going to grab hold of your left fingers, maybe left wrist. Maybe you want to grab hold of a strap or your towel, like so. And it's a great way to just set up into this bind. We don't quite have the range just yet. Stay for one more inhale here. Stay as you breathe out. Release your hands, look forward to the top of your mat, pivot it onto the ball of your left toe back into that low lunge. And then you're gonna press down through your right foot, step up, forward fold, top of your mat. Breath in here, halfway lift and lengthen. Add Uttanasana, exhale, bow forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, come up, halfway lift, hands onto blocks, shift your weight into your left foot, you're going to release that right leg back through that modified warrior three. I'm gonna lift from your right inner thigh. It doesn't matter how high that right leg, that lifted leg is, but the main thing I want you to focus on is keeping it straight. So really reach back, stretch back through your toes as if you're pressing your foot into an imaginary wall behind you. Spiral, right frontal hip bone down, and then gently glide left out of hip back. Both sides of your waist long, shoulder blades slide down your back, stretch long out through the top of your head, take another inhale, as you exhale begin to bend into your left knee, step back into our lunge and then spin your right heel down, from here lift up, pop your left arm on top of your left thigh and then you're going to extend your right arm up towards the ceiling here. Press down firmly through your left heel. Scoop your left sit bone underneath. Left glute is engaged. Press down through the knife edge of your left foot, lift, right foot, sorry, lift your right inner arch and firm the front of your right thigh here. So legs are strong. Then from here, you're going to rotate your right palm back. Press back through your palm. Sweep your right hand either to rest onto your lower back or grab hold of the top of your left inner thigh, peeling right shoulder open. Options to stay here, options to then move into the full bind. Leaning forward, if full bind is available for you, grab hold of your right fingertips, right wrist. Use your left upper arm bone to broaden and press your left knee out. And of course, options to use your strap here. If you can't quite reach your fingers. Pausing here, take one more breath in. Slowly breathe out. Release the bind, pop your strap off to one side, put it onto the ball of your right toes. From here, you're going to lower this time your right knee onto the mat and then slide your left foot back. Shift forward, shoulders over wrists. Hug in through lower belly spine as long in that diagonal. Inhale here, exhale, lower down in one straight line to the earth. From here, you're going to reach your arms back, interlace your hands behind your lower back. As you breathe in, pubic bone heavy, lift through your lower belly. So imagine there's a little lady beetle underneath the bottom or underneath your belly and you're just floating your belly away from that lady beetle. As you breathe in, you're gonna wrap, start by wrapping your shoulders back. Shoulder blades glide down your back and squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together. Track your knuckles back towards your heels. Tailbone reaches back towards your heels and you're going to project your heart forward. Stay here for two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale out. One more deep breath in. Exhale, lower down. Take one cheek to the mat. Unlace your fingers. Ankles can roll out. Maybe rocking your hips from side to side just to release through your lower back and we're going to take one more of those. So start by setting up, taking the opposite thumb on top or uh, binding your hands the awkward way or the unnatural way. See if you can take your legs together. If you're feeling discomfort through your lower back though, or through your SI joints, take your feet wider. 
And then as you inhale, you're going to start by wrapping your shoulders open, collarbones broaden, energize through your legs. Start by peeling your front body off the earth, reaching your knuckles towards your heels. And maybe this time you can float both legs off. You're going to lift from your inner thighs. Keep hugging in through your lower belly, even in the back bend as that protects through our lower back. Squeezing tips of shoulder blades together and then press the bottom tips of your shoulder blades into the back of, back of your heart to keep sending your chest forward. Take one more inhale. And then exhale, lower down. Release your hands opposite cheek to the mat. And draw up from side to side. And from here, slide your hands underneath your shoulders, press back into a wide child's pose. Deep breaths into your lower back. As you inhale here, slowly make your way up. You're gonna roll off to one side and then spin around. And we're gonna come down to lie onto your back. Just keep one of your blocks close by. We're going to come into a bridge pose. Feet are hip distance apart. So reach your fingertips so that they graze the back of your Achilles tendon here. And then root down through all four corners of your feet. As you inhale, you're going to peel up into your bridge. Now options to stay here, palms flat. Options to again, take a bind. So interlacing fingers, wrap those upper shoulders underneath and behind your ribs. Keep your legs long and shooting forward and out of your hips rather than allowing knees to splay out to the side. Kneecaps pointing directly in front of you. Keep lengthening your tailbone forward like a monkey's tail. It's long. Take one more breath in. Slowly empty your breath. Release the bind if you have it. Start rolling down from the top of your spine. From here, you're going to take the soles of your feet together, knees fall out wide, supta baddha konasana, one hand on your heart, other hand on your belly. As you breathe in, feel that gentle rise and fall. Oh, of your chest and your belly underneath your hands. And just take one more deep breath in. Slowly breathe out. Release your hands out to the side, draw your knees in towards each other. From here, you're going to hug your right knee in towards your chest, send your left leg away from you. Start off by lifting your hips, glide them over to the right, draw your right knee across your body, extend your right arm out to the side, capital T shape. Anchor down through the back of both your shoulders. So you take this twist. Slowly come back through center, rotate that to the other side, bending your left knee up, extending your right leg forward, release your left arm out to the side, start off by lifting your hips, gently draw your left leg across your body. I feel here a few cracks, pops, release through your back. Maybe closing your eyes here. Maybe you feel that gentle unraveling and Twisting and rinsing out through your midsection. And when you feel ready, you feel even slowly, you make your way out of the twist. Wrap hold of your block, either onto the lower side or medium height, you know, bend your knees up, soles of your feet flat, flat, slide the block underneath your sacrum, it's the flat part of your pelvis. So not on your spine, it's further down, away from your spine, and then extend one leg up, and then the other leg up, to so move into a supported shoulder stand or Viparita Karate. Feel as though your chest is spreading wide open, back of your neck long, and you're just sensing the fluid drain down and out of your legs.
This is such a beautiful restorative pose, a gentle inversion. And stay here for as long as you like. When you're ready, bring one leg down, the other leg down. Press your feet. Elevate your hips. Slide your block and your cushion out from underneath you. And find our way into our shavasana. Allowing your body to press. Just digest what's gone on throughout our practice. Welcome to lie here for as long as you want. Thank you for joining me, yogis.